So this is our tiny house. We're gonna be giving you a full tour of the tiny house. It is 26 feet long, 8.8 .8 feet wide. Um, the roofing is professionally installed. The electricity is professionally installed. Um, it's fully insulated. The ceilings, the walls, and the floors are fully insulated. It's also built on an Iron Eagle pad trailer, 26 feet long, um, so very high quality. On this side, we have the water heater, water filter, and the AC unit. So on the right side of the house, we have our filtration system. It's a three-stage full house water filtration system. We have a Samsung mini split that goes up to the loft. And then we have our Renai water heater, uh, propane water heater. Here we have the back of the tiny house. It's a cedar siding and shingle exterior with metal roofing professionally installed. This structure features SDS uplift anchors in each corner, 16 gauge steel strapping, and hurricane clips on rafters. Here's the front of the house or the um, front of the trailer. This is where the propane tanks are stored and of course the hitch. We're able to store two propane tanks here. I believe they're nine gallons each. Um, you can use one at a time. There's a valve that shows if they're full or empty and then valves on the top that you can close and fill up one at a time or do both. And now we'll show you the inside of the house. The house was built in 2018. Um, one of my favorite parts about the house is the amount of storage that there is everywhere. Also how vibrant the colors are. Moving into the kitchen, we have our pantry, refrigerator, full-size Samsung gas range, oven, and stove with ventilation. All right, now I'll show you some of the storage. More pantry space. Here is um, where you can store your pots and pans. under the sink, lots of storage. The storage goes all the way back to the end of the wall. More pantry space, deep cabinets. And then the pantry has four drawers that slide all the way out. Plenty of grocery storage. And then underneath we have our space for recycling and trash. So bringing you into the living room, we have our sectional couch, 55 inch TV, countertop that collapses for more space, and a wine fridge, and then the ladder to get up to the loft. There's even more storage in the living room underneath the couch. This door unlatches and then it slides out. For your shoes, plenty of storage. There's more space under this couch. 
and then warm storage for blankets or luggage. So this whole square is more storage. We also have our electrical panel here in the living room and then cords are stored in there. And now we'll bring you into the hallway. So moving into the hallway, we have our bathroom on this side. And then this is our guest bedroom or second bedroom. I call it the teeny bedroom. There's a twin sized Murphy bed that folds out and it touches wall to wall. Um, but it's great because you can use this as a office or playroom or second bedroom. And this is what the bedroom looks like with the Murphy bed down. Nice and cozy little nook if you wanted to just read a book or take a nap. Now let's go into the bathroom. A gorgeous centerpiece sink. Plenty of storage. Here's our separate compost toilet. It's also plumbed for normal plumbing if you wanted to switch that out. More storage over here. A little travel washer. And there is a broom closet. And then our gorgeous shower. And excellent water pressure. And now I'll take you up to the loft. So here's the loft. It's large enough for a queen or king size bed. We have a queen. We have our Samsung uh, mini split air conditioning and heating unit. Two little windows, they open. There's a his and hers closet. So two closets with again, plenty of storage. Lots of outlets for plugs and more storage. In this closet, we have a setup for a washer dryer combo hookup. And I'll show you my favorite part of the loft. It's the skylight. That opens up. You can get to the roof. And then just to show you the view from the loft into the living room. And now back downstairs. The sink is a 30 inch LK undermount farmhouse sink. Surrounded by butcher block countertops. And then there's even a dishwasher. So there you have it. It's our gorgeous little tiny house. If you have any questions about the tiny house, you can contact Ashley at tinyhouselistings.com. So A-S-H-L-E-Y at tinyhouselistings.com. Thank you.